Mental health is one of the biggest problems we face in the UK today. Statistically, one in four people in England will experience a mental health problem of some kind each year, with the figure always rising. In football, the number of players facing mental health issues is also escalating. Between January and September of 2020, 464 members of the Professional Footballers Association accessed counselling services, compared with 653 in the whole of 2019. One of the causes of mental health problems within the sport lies with young footballers being released from academies, and with 75% of mental illnesses starting before the age of 18 in the UK, there still needs to be more help for these youngsters. Tragically, former Manchester City youth player Jeremy Whiston took his own life at the age of 18, with his family calling out for more mental health support in young people, both in education systems and within football. I spoke with former Hartlepool and Morecambe youth player Lewis McDonald, who talked about his experience with mental health during his time at the clubs. At the academy, I don't think anything was done about our mental health. Um, I was there from the age of 8 to 16, and you're looking about 10 years ago. I don't think mental health and football was a, so, as a bigger thing than it is, it is now. You've obviously got the problems that's going on with the former Man City uh, player who's committed suicide, but back then no, nothing was mentioned about your mental health and um, you were just left to get your own on your own devices back then i was relying on school teachers to help me get through obviously when i was released i was going through my exams at the time so it was a hard situation to deal with being told pardon me you're not good enough to then to then go and sit an exam the next day so what more do you think that clubs could do for their academy players mental health uh, there could be regular workshops about looking after their mental health, spotting signs and stuff. Uh, could be just even the coaches pulling them aside and just saying, look, are you OK? If not, well, then maybe once you're released from a club, there's obviously you go to trial days, but there could be links or booklets to help you deal with it mentally. Thousands like Lewis are released from academies each year, with statistics showing that only 180 of the 1.5 million players who are playing organised youth football in England at any one time will make it as a Premier League pro. Another study from 2015 by Dr David Blakelock of Teesside University showed that 55% of players taking part in the study were suffering clinical levels of psychological distress three weeks after being released. One player who did make it professionally in the sport is James Coppinger, who has since made over 600 appearances for Doncaster Rovers and enjoyed a successful career spanning over 20 years. I spoke to James about his thoughts and experiences of mental health within football. Do you think enough is done for these young sports stars, especially within football, uh, for their mental health? Um, I think it's, it's, it was never ever spoke about mental health, mental performance, um, psychology, when I was in Newcastle, this sort of thing, there was no, there was nobody within the club that that worked on this. Um, and as times evolved, um, there's there's more people involved. The higher you go up into the Premier League, um, I imagine, even actually drilling down and looking into it, uh, I spoke to people at Liverpool through lockdown. I spoke to their first team psychologist, who I worked with at Doncaster and then I spoke to their academy director Alex Inglethorpe um, and they they said to me that that this is at the forefront of every single thing that they do um, Liverpool are, are were the European Championship uh, European champions the Premier League champions the world champions um, that they're currently the, in my opinion the best team um, in the world um, and it, it, it was really refreshing to hear that um, this sort of thing is, is at the forefront of everything that they do from um, the academy all the way up to the first team. Jurgen Klopp is a huge believer in, in, um, in this sort of thing and uh, communicating in the right way. Um, the player comes first before uh, the person comes first before the player. Um, and it's huge. You know, I think, I think in the next five to 10 years, it'll get massive. It'll get bigger. Um, people will be more aware of it and people will be more aware of, you know, mental performance and mental health isn't something that's weird and wonderful. Like you don't have to wait until something you've got something wrong or you get a disappointment. Um, you can do this every single day and work on it at training um, at home. It's all about building strategies, coping mechanisms, um, things that work for you. 
Um, so I would say be prepared rather than wait for something to happen. There is always someone out there for anyone suffering from mental health problems with a huge number of charities available 24-7. Please never suffer in silence.